today I'm sharing a fun technique to make an inside tunnel card. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I needed a special card for my sister's 50th birthday and I thought it'd be fun to make an inside tunnel card. I saw a great tutorial on it by Jennifer McGuire and I will link that in the description and also at my blog. So it's pretty simple. What I've done is I've started with an A4 sheet of colored cardstock because I want my card to be pink because my sister likes bright pink. And on the first piece of cardstock, I've basically just created a card base, like a portrait side fold card base and scored that down the center. So both these sheets of cardstock, they're five and a half by eight and a half inches. And then what I've done is I've cut a really like a half an inch off the back of the cardstock. And on my second piece, I've made three score lines. They're at a half an inch, four and a quarter inches, and then four and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to fold all of those and um, burnish them with my bone folder. I have trouble thinking of words. <laughs> When I'm talking to you I don't know why they're words that I use all the time <laughs> and I never shut up normally so once that's all nice and burnished I can go on to two other pieces of cardstock because I want this to be a tunnel card so I'm going to need two more layers within that tunnel and you'll see what I mean in a moment but these two pieces of cardstock are cut five and a half by four and a quarter inches and I've actually cut a very small slither, slither of the top one top and the side of one so they're slightly smaller than that if that makes sense and then I've scored each of them at a quarter of an inch on both sides and burnish them so now I'm going to use some Avery L dies to create my tunnel windows and to line them up, I'm actually just holding, eyeballing it <laughs> because that's how I roll. And I'm just holding the cardstock in place, lining up my dies, and then using some low tack tape to hold them in place before I run them through the machine. I happen to have these dies that have um, embossing, debossing patterns. <laughs> on either side of the cutting line you can use whatever dies you have you can use whatever shape you want I think Jennifer McGuire did hers with some circle dies and that looked amazing but I thought I'd go with the rectangles today and you may note that I actually used some darker pink cardstock for these other two pieces I just wanted some different colored cardstock there now on the base of my box it's almost a box I've put some pale blue, almost like a tealy blue cardstock there. And you could also stamp a pattern or leave it blank. It's whatever you want to do, depending on the, what you're going to fill <laughs> your inside tunnel with, what stamps you're going to use. And then I've added some score tape. So this is a really strong hold. Score tape has a, a really nice strong hold, and this is the eighth of an inch. You can use a liquid glue, but you do have to be a little bit patient with that, and I'm not. I can't be bothered waiting for it to dry. So I've added the score tape, removed it, and then lined it up with the crease, the first crease, and then folded the top of the card over. I'm going to repeat this with the second window. And I've made sure to put the smaller window at the very back, and then the larger to the largest, so that when you open it up and you look in it actually has a cascade sort of effect I'm doing the same thing again I am removing the release paper from the adhesive and then just folding it on top so that it now has a really strong hold and you can see that there's now three layers now I'm going to attach the whole panel to the card base that I created earlier this is the one that has that little piece cut off the back of it and I am also using some score tape for that and I had the I think it might have been even just the quarter inch one on hand you could use whichever size you have and then I'm just lining up the 
fold in the center of the card with my box portion. So now for the very top tunnel piece I'm removing the adhesive and then sort of laying the cardstock over and attaching it. Now this is the first time I've ever made this card and Jennifer McGuire's tutorial is awesome. It's step by step. She always shows you heaps of examples so um, head over there if you want lots more examples and to see it done properly <laughs> and with greater detail. But basically I did that for both of the inside portions and then I added a couple of strips of the 1 8 of an inch again on that box frame that I created and then I could just simply hold that against the score of the card base and then fold that top layer in and look there's dots on the front <laughs> I had already taken that piece aside and added uh, it's the bubble wrap stencil from Altenew and used my blender pen and added some pink ink to that just to add some detail to the front. I thought it'd be fun. You could use some design paper, whatever you want. And then you can actually decorate it however you want. I've got some leaves and flowers from the Weekend Doodles set that I've colored with some Copic markers and Prismacolor pencils. And I've actually got my first IGTV movie showing the speed coloring of that sweet owl from the Picket Fence Studios, which is the BFF owl. So of course I had to put a big 50 on the front for my sister <laughs> just to rub it in and I did attach all the front portions directly to the card front. I didn't use any um, foam adhesive. I wanted it to be fairly flat so that I could post it but I did add some enamel dots and I like to hold those in place with some matte medium. And there's the tunnel card with the owls and the sentiment. I thought that worked out really well. <laughs> because I know she's got it and how cool is that owl so don't forget to head over to my first IGTV movie and if you did like this video please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you did if you haven't already I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel because I enjoy every one of your visits here thanks so much yet again for coming and visiting me here till next time happy paper crafting bye